Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and as you learned recently that we're going to do a plan B with Fall Garden. I am um, having issues where I cannot strain and bend over and things like that. So we're going to improvise. My husband Jack's here. He's going to help me get in this last bit of onions. These are the 1015 Y's and as you can see they're actually very much so bulbing in here. They really need to get in the ground. And I think I have a little bit more of the plethora also, although I don't have as much space for them. But they look great too. Um, except for the fact that we're having a ton of rain, lots and lots of rain. And so that's another reason why I'm, I'm very pushed uh, to get these out. Look at the great root system on there. Yeah, so Jack is gonna help me. We're gonna put you on time lapse and uh, Jack is going to help prepare the bed and then I'll just sit on the ground and get these, gar uh, these onions in. Um, I did a long row of 10, 15 Ys. These are the last a little, little bit of plethora. I only have like a maybe dozen and a half of these. And then while I was over there going, th feeling so proud of myself <laughs> that all the onions are in, I realized there was that second tray of Chianti onions, red onions, that were from a second sowing that you know were too young to go in over here and oh my gosh they're ready now so I've got to figure out where I'm gonna put those onions which won't be too hard I have plenty of open spots but the only thing is I already sent Jack back in he's uh, looking at my washing machine which is acting just acting up a little bit but machines fear him and he'll figure it out in seconds and it'll prosper probably just cost me a couple dollars or less I mean because that's how good he is all right so now all the white onions are done and I just have that little these are plethora down here 
and all those down the row are 10 15 wide to say it's more like a yellow globe onion a row is not exactly straight but it won't matter here soon because those onions are going to gr grow like crazy and cover up stuff all right so you guys um i checked the dates and these onions this is the plethora and the Chianti Red, the first batch, in the first two rows here, they were all transplanted August 31st. And so that means they've been in the ground for 18 days and they're over their shock, transplanting shock. And so now they're ready for their very first feeding of ammonium sulfate. So that's something I use. I have done a video on this before. I will link it at the very end for you to click it after this video. I'll also put it in the description box below. But I thought you'd like to see me go through it with the next set of onions, this year's onions. I basically take a cup of these, and I don't really measure it out, but I think they say about a full cup is a 25-foot row. So we're going to assume that's a, roughly what we got. This is a cup worth, and I'm just going to go right on to it. They will dissolve with the rain very quickly. Now my weeds are starting to catch up with me in here and they will when you start feeding all this nitrogen to your onions. So you'll want to really stay on top of your weeds if you can. From here on out, um, this stage for onions is called the vegetative growth stage. That's when you want the green part to grow, 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 grow. So we're just going to hit them every three weeks. Or as I like to also, you know, potentially do, if you got a rainfall coming, hit it then. Even if it's, you know, just closer to two weeks than three weeks, hit it before a rainfall because, you know, we'll start drying up here soon. And you do this all the way oh, until you hit the winter solstice and then they just seem to know that that's when they start doing their bulbs so when you start seeing maybe you're in a different part of the country than i am whenever you see your bulbs start to grow you stop the ammonium sulfate and then you just let them do their thing and the sun and the rain whatever will take over from that point but your job at this point in the fall for your onions is to get those green layers going not just tall and long but for every one of those green leaves that comes off that represents a layer of onion down below and your your whole purpose at this time of constantly feeding 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 your onions is to grow another layer another layer another layer and that's why it's so important to me to get my onions in the ground soon and I, we did, I explained this in an earlier video, it was a little too soon, but my seed, seedlings, they just popped up and they were doing really well. So I had to get them in on the 31st instead of waiting the full six weeks like I was supposed to. Now the ones today, they're on schedule. That's normal. Anytime like before October, October 1st is sort of like my mental cutoff. Although a couple, three years ago, I did November 9th. And that was uh, with somebody else starting my seedlings for me. And um, that, you know, my onion sets, I guess, if you prefer to call it that. You know, that was okay, but I felt like I didn't have enough time in the vegetative strength, the vegetative stage. The onions, you know, if I, you put them in on the 9th, you only have to the third week of December when they are the we start changing from shortest day of the year starting to increase to the longest day of the year so that's why this these preceding months that i'm now gaining by starting my onion sets by seed that is precious time to add another layer another layer another layer last year i was finally successful in getting my first one pound onion and that is really good for a short day onion and i I'm, couldn't be happier if if most of these turn out to be one pound, even half of them turn out to be one pound onions, I, I, it's a really successful season for me. And, um, you know, some of them don't, you know, like probably the 10, 15 Y are not one pound onions anyhow. 
So if they go to half to three quarter pounds, perfect. I don't care. This is all fun and we are putting up food. I am still, okay, we harvested last year's onions um, that we started in May of this year. I, I think it was around May 1st. And I will tell you that we are here right now in the third week of September, still eating fresh onions from the garden. And I still have maybe another 10 pounds, 15 pounds of onions left to go. And that's pretty good. I've almost got the number of onions right. That's why I increased the number of onions that I grew this year. Just so we can make sure we can start having a year's worth of onions. If we come close to that, I'm happy too though, because we've already saved a lot of money. Those seed packets come with thousands of seeds and they're only like, you know, a few dollars, handful of dollars, whatever you pay for yours. And so, and maybe times two, if you get a couple of varieties. So we're really coming out ahead. The mushroom compost a little bit more. The ammonium sulfate did go up. It used to be $20, $25. It went up to, I think, $45. I don't know, I bought it like, Three, four months ago I'm trying to remember I think it went up to about 40 45 dollars this year because of you know everything going up but I'm still ahead and I'm still eating out of my garden I didn't spend gas money going to the grocery store so that's a win too I didn't have to fight the crowds I didn't have to fight any supply chain none of those things and I know exactly it was grown by me with love and now today with my husband's help and you know that's all a wonderful thing when the whole family gets involved and my son as you saw in the last video he helped me with getting all the tomatoes in the eggplants in the beans in and yes it's been wonderful so um it's a family thing now <laughs> all right you guys so that's all i have for you today oh one more thing wanted you to see up front i don't know if you got to see it this is that second sowing of Chianti red onions. So the first sowing was on July 19th, and this sowing came in later, August 2nd. So um, to be quite honest with you, I, I really did just forget about them. And they're, they're not really bulbing up, so they can just hold off just a little bit longer until, you know, a couple more days this, a couple more days this week, and my son and I, We'll um, make another row and put these in the in that row. I just realized there's a snail in there. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, you guys, thank you for um, staying with me and hanging out today and watching another row of onions go in. That is success. And uh, I hope you subscribe and give me a little thumbs up, some love. We're really close to a thousand strong, you guys. Twenty five subscribers away from a thousand you have helped build this channel with me and i'm really proud of that and we're building community and having lots of questions down below i try to answer them sometimes I come and see other people answer them or somebody find somebody else in their community and that's great that's what this is all about that and also i would like my grandkids to see what i did when i was younger <laughs> so anyhow you guys take care god bless and i will see you in the next video bye